Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve another word problem on whole numbers. And this is a very interesting one, okay? So let's start. Well, it says that Tina had three times as many stickers as Jill. So Tina had three times as many stickers as Jill. And Jack had four times as many stickers as Jill. And after Tina gave 10 stickers away and Jack gave 30 stickers to Jill, they each had the same number of stickers. Find the number of stickers or how many stickers had Jack at first. Alright, so here's what you have to do. Let's uh, read it again. It says that Tina had three times as many stickers as Jill and Jack had four times as many stickers as Jill. So they both have some number of times the stickers as Jill. So let's put Jill's stickers here first. So let's say that Jill has got this one box of stickers or this one block of stickers. So this is our lady Jill and she has got suppose a pink box of stickers. All right so this is Jill's pink box of or block of stickers. All right now since uh, if uh, Jill has got one pink box of stickers then how many will Tina have? Oh, the problem says that Tina has three times as many so Tina will have three pink blocks of stickers. So one, two and three pink blocks of stickers. That's our lady Tina. So this is Tina and the last guy Jack. He had four times as many stickers as Jill. So let's give four blocks of four pink blocks of stickers to Jack. So that's one, two, three and four pink blocks of stickers for Jack. Let's write down his name against uh, these blocks and that's Jack. Alright, next what do we know? We know that Tina gave 10 stickers away. So let's put that down here. Tina gave 10 stickers away. Let's say that the brown shaded part here is the 10 stickers that Tina gave away. And Jack gave 30 stickers to Jill. And what happened afterwards? Well, after Tina gave 10 stickers away and after Jack gave 30 stickers to Jill, they each had the same number of stickers. Alright, so since Jack, Tina and Jill, this is the important part, they each have the same number of stickers, okay? Now, Tina has these stickers left that I'm marking in black, okay? So, Tina has got these stickers left. So then obviously Jack and Jill must also have the same number of stickers left. So then if we extend this line on both sides and top and on top as well as bottom, what we see is that Jill has these many stickers. Okay, from uh, the beginning of the pink block all the way to the end, okay, to the black line here. And our guy Jack, he also must have the same number of stickers left, right, as Tina and Jill. So let's just extend this line and say that this is uh, how much stickers Jack had left. Okay, so this black part here, this black box is marked by the black box. So this is how much Jack had left, right? So Jack, Tina and Jill, okay, this is the important part. Jack, Tina and Jill, they had the same number of stickers left. So, this is how much each of these guys had left. Now, what we know is that Jack gave 30 stickers to Jill. So, then obviously this part here must be equal to 30 because this is how much he gave away and after that he had this black box of stickers left. So, obviously then this shaded part here that I'm shading in green be equal to 30. Now, since he gave these stickers away to Jill, let's just take these and put into Jill's account. So we cut this and we put into Jill's account. So Jill has one pink box and one green box of stickers left now. Now we know that the green box of stickers is equal to 30. So th these are 30 stickers and we know that the brown stickers here is equal to 10 stickers. So together we know that the green box and the brown box 
are equal to 30 plus 10 which is equal to 40 stickers now can you make a comparison of the green box and the brown box with the pink boxes here well it's apparent it's quite obvious from uh, looking at the model diagram that if you see just Tina's uh, model diagram here okay and let me use another color okay let me say let me use blue color okay so this guy here this is equal to two pink blocks right that are marking in brown uh, sorry that are marking in blue so this is equal to two pink blocks and that is equal to one green box and one brown box right so this guy the the the, the box that i'm marking in blue in jill's model as well as tina's model we see that two blocks here two pink blocks here let me write that down one pink block and two pink block Two pink blocks are equal to the green block here and the brown block here. So together the green box plus the brown box is equal to two pink units. So we simply write that down as two pink blocks or two units is equal to green plus brown which is 30 plus 10 stickers. That's equal to 40 stickers. So if two pink units are equal to 40 stickers then how much is one pink unit equal to well one pink unit is simply equal to 40 divided by 2 and that's equal to 20 stickers so what does that mean that means that one pink block over here is equal to 20 stickers so then what is the question asking you to find out how many stickers had jack at first well jack at first had four times as many stickers as Jill. Jack at first had four pink blocks of stickers. Let me draw a dotted line here. So we know that Jack had these stickers at first, but he gave them away to Jill. All right, anyway, Jack had one, two, three, and four units or four pink blocks of stickers at first. And that would mean that he has four units or four times 20 stickers at first and that's equal to 80 stickers so the answer to the question is that jack had 80 stickers at first all right that's that about this word problem for more word problems of this kind and of other kinds do visit www.homecampus.com.sg don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect this is M signing off for now. Bye.